Welcome to The Zone. In today's episode, we will be discussing the fire-based anomalies that exist within the zone and the artifacts that can be found near them. If you enjoy the video, feel free to like and subscribe for more stalker-related content. I would also like to take this time to announce that the channel has a Discord server now, as well as a Patreon page. If you would like to help support the channel financially, check out the Patreon link in the description. Without further ado, let's jump in. While it is one of the more common anomalies within the zone, the burner anomaly has claimed the lives of many unsuspecting stalkers who are unable to see the faint but telltale signs of danger. Burners can be found throughout the zone, but mainly within the Great Swamp, the Garbage, the Dark Valley, Yantar, and the Red Forest, as well as the Army Warehouses and Lemansk. These anomalies can only be visually detected by the haze that they emit, similar to boiling water or an extremely hot object. While it is extremely uncommon to see, there have been reports of clusters of burners existing side by side, creating a deadly fireball when activated. While it is unknown why the burner reacts the way it does, scientists within the zone have documented that any object passing through the event horizon of the anomaly will set it off. When triggered, the burner will eject a massive stream of flames into the air. These flames have been measured at a variety of temperatures, with some being as low as 100 degrees Celsius, while others are several thousands of degrees, hotter than the temperature of molten lava. These more intense burner anomalies are hot enough to turn sand and dirt into glass, to melt steel beams, and to boil water that is meters away from the actual anomaly. The area around burner anomalies is surrounded by cracked concrete, ash, and deformed metal, as the flames spewing out of the anomaly destroy the surrounding landscape. While the burner mostly forms on land, there have been cases of the anomaly forming underwater. These underwater burners have been appropriately named boilers, as the triggering of this anomaly will cause a large area of water to instantly boil around its unsuspecting victim. Another variant of the burner anomaly is the Comet, a mobile version. While burners and boilers are dangerous in their own right, a stalker with a good eye and a decent detector can evade the danger that they pose. A common, on the other hand, is a mobile burner that moves about in predictable and chaotic paths, causing enclosed areas to become almost impassable for most stalkers. The artifacts that emerge from the burner family of anomalies have anti-bleeding, anti-radiation, and damage-resistant properties. Artifacts such as the mama's beads and the eye have been highly desired by stalkers who wish to receive some sort of anti-bleeding property. Although there have been stalkers that have stated the mama's beads also gave them bullet protection. Some of the other artifacts found around burners, such as the fireball and the crystal, give the stalker using it the protection from burning. The flame artifact emits a special band of radiation that boosts the user's metabolic rate healing wounds very quickly. All of the artifacts that are produced by the burner anomalies radiate heat, which have been used to keep stalkers warm. This warmth comes at a cost, however, as the soft glow of these artifacts is produced by their innate radioactivity. If utilizing artifacts from a burner, stalkers should take care to keep anti-radiation medication or alcoholic beverages close to counteract the effect of the radiation on their bodies. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to like, subscribe, and hit the little bell icon for more stalker related content. Also, feel free to join our Discord server as well as our Patreon page with the links in the description below. Until next time, I'll see you in the zone.